Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you how to extract two items from existing Power BI files, custom visuals and custom themes. Now there may come a time when you're given a Power BI file that has either of those already imported and you'd like to use them in some other Power BI reports. Now, normally you'd be able to download a custom visual from the visual store or a theme from somewhere online, but if you have no ability to access either of those from the file that you have in front of you, this is going to be a really handy trick. So let's get started. So I'll use the Power BI file in front of me as an example. And if we look over here under page background, we will see that there is a custom theme currently in here. And again, let's say this was somebody from your organization who had created this, but you have no access to that original file and you want to reuse this in other reports. And you don't want to have to recreate that with one color at a time. And the other thing too, is you can see that there are custom visuals in here. And let's assume maybe this was an internally developed custom visual that you would like to reuse. So how do you extract those from the file? So let's see how easy it is to do. So to extract those files from a Power BI desktop file, let's go ahead and take our Power BI desktop file, copy and paste that into the folder here. I'm going to rename this, get rid of the word copy, change the PBIX to dot zip. There you go. And we'll see that this has now become a zip folder. Go ahead and open that. And then you will see that there's a lot of data in here. Now I won't talk about everything in here, but it's really nice just to come into the report section. And we'll see that there's something called static resources and then shared resources. And there we are. We have our base themes, which is the one that's included in Power BI and then the built in themes. And that's the custom themes that we're using. So there we are classroom.json that can just go ahead and I will uh, copy that out to the root folder. Perfect. And then let's go back a couple of folders back to shared resources, back to static and back to report. And then up here we have custom visuals. And then all of the things within here as well, all of these visuals that have been imported. Uh, let's pick Timeline Storyteller as an example. That actually has in this folder two items, resources and the package. This is the entire complete contents of anything that is in a custom visual file. So again, I'm going to copy that out, paste it over to here, and I'm going to take these two things, multi-select, packages and resources, right click, and say send to zip folder. And I'm going to call this custom visual dot PBI V I Z. So that is the extension for Power BI custom visuals and hit enter, change that extension. You'll notice that the icon over here has changed. And now let's go ahead and just look at a brand new Power BI desktop file. And the two things that we can do is we can do switch theme, import. And there's that JSON file that I have right here with the colors that will go ahead and import that. Perfect. And then the other thing I can do is come over here to the little ellipses, select import from file. And then there's that custom visual dot PBI VIZ. I'm going to select open, imported it, and we'll see that it shows up right over here under the timeline storyteller. So there you go. You can see that it's very easy to extract and then re-import either themes or visuals that were the custom included in Power BI desktop files and then put them into other files. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click that like button below. And if you have anything to say or request for future videos, please add that to the comment section. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.